Well, tonight, the Eddystone Borough Council voted to terminate its borough manager. It all centers around accusations of racist remarks toward a job applicant. CBS Philadelphia's Aziza Schuler was at that meeting tonight. It was a contentious special meeting, to say the least. While majority of the council voted to terminate the borough manager, there were several residents as well as the council vice president and even the mayor who vehemently disagreed with the action of the board. No comment from Eddie Stone borough manager Dawn Jones as she walked into the council meeting Monday evening where the first motion on the agenda was her termination. Jones, seated quietly at the back, recorded on her cell phone as the motion was introduced. Council Vice President William Stewart immediately questioned if the vote violated the borough's code of procedures. I ask, is this termination being made with or without cause? Stewart and one other member voted to retain Jones, while the remaining four cited insubordination and mismanagement as reasons for her termination, a decision upsetting many residents in attendance. It makes me angry. I am angry at this borough. And Eddie Stone's mayor. They don't deserve to, to lose such a great borough manager. She was really the glue that, that held this community together, and I'm um, really disappointed the council voted in the way that they voted. The 4 2 vote comes a week after a council meeting on March 11th, where Jones accused Councilwoman Rachel Walker of racial discrimination and allegedly using a racial slur when asked why a black resident was not hired to fill a trash truck position with a borough. Council President Walker at that time said, I'm not hiring that effing man. I don't speak like that. I don't appreciate people well, speaking like so that. Her account last week when she made those accusations in a public forum, why did you wait nine months as a borough manager to admit or say allegedly that these things occurred of racism remarks and why now? Ethically, you had, a, you had a responsibility to report that when it happened. That job applicant was Faith Farabee's husband, Pastor Willie Farabee. The couple is demanding that Jones keep her job and Walker resign. We don't need that here. We're trying to bring people together, unity in the community, um, not to divide people. And that's what's happening. Aziza Schuler, CBS News, Philadelphia.